just before this video, I have to quickly mention that what you're about to see is something incredible. Watch here as I completely destroy Pontus Sullivan. If you guys have played Dark Souls 3, you know how much of a cunt this guy is. And I killed him my first time NG+, with the help of this black hand guy. Can't remember his name. But anyway, let's get into the video. So today, I'm going to be showing you a secret of how to get into the Dark Moon Loyalty Covenant. But do you know what we need first? Play the intro. Epic explosions of awesomeness! Maybe a bit too hyped, but you never know. So what you're gonna need to do, guys, is go to the Anor Londo boss fire, uh, boss fire, bonfire, just before, uh, the Aldrich Devourer of Gods boss battle. Um, you'll notice this spiral elevator thing if you've come this far. What you need to do is basically take it back down and just follow where I go. Now what you're going to need to do is come to this catwalk and you might be like, shit, there's a bonfire over there. How do I get over there? If you're ballsy and uh, you know <laughs> that you won't die, if you just slowly walk over it, you'll realise it's actually an invisible bridge. Um, I don't really want to know why people discovered this or how they discovered it, but um, basically, as you can see, there's a bonfire there and just to the left of the bonfire, there is a lady. If you don't want any spoilers to what she says, go away now. <laughs> Politely. Name thyself, stranger. I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckoned thee to such a place? So there are a lot of theories about who she is, and a lot of people are saying that she is Guinevere's sister and Gwyn's daughter, a sort of hidden child. I don't exactly think that's true, I think she's just a woman. Thou's journeyed far. Hear my voice. She speaks a bit like a firekeeper as well, which I find a bit weird. It's not one of my weird theories for Dark Souls 3, I just thought I'd put it out there. Anyway, I'll stay quiet until I have to speak again, which won't be too long. the foes of our lords. Then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the Dark Moon. Thou art now a blade of the Dark Moon. The only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. So obviously to equip the covenant, just go over to your inventory, go over to the right, click covenant and select it. Oh, good blade of the dark moon. Welcome home. If I can provide thee succor, only <laughs> If you can provide what? She wants to provide the suck? Me gusta. That actually sounded quite good. <laughs> but come on. Does sound like she said sucky. Just saying. By the way, if you get up, go past the bonfire, you'll see this little um, bell tower thing here. If you drop down, you have to be quite careful because um, you have to drop onto some of these pillars. But this is how you get the, I believe it's called the Painted Knight's um, armor set, or the Painted Guard's armor set. It's not really too good, but uh, if you're um, on your first playthrough and you haven't reached NG Plus yet, I'd recommend getting it just because it's, it's not too bad. You also just got the um, curved sword, which is an okay weapon. Again, if you're an NG Plus like me, uh, there's not really much point in having it. But um, this armor set here doesn't look too bad. A uh, painted guardian, that's it. It doesn't look too bad, but it's uh, the armor stats aren't really the best for my playstyle. Before we end the video, I just want to say thank you guys for watching and subscribing to this channel. If you haven't subscribed already, I can't even talk. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed already, I'd recommend you go do it because I do play Dark Souls 3 on a daily basis. And I adore it in every way. Uh, what you're going to be seeing here is basically me just destroying the Dancer of the Boreal Valley on NG Plus first time. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching once again. Like if you did like the video, and I know it was a bit weird. But thank you guys for watching, and peace.